Hi friends, I'm Missy with The Little Green Bean. Today I am doing a demo for you with a pattern from Missouri Star Quilt Co. We're gonna make the Adventure Sling Bag. Now this is a perfect project for your college student going off to school in the fall. These sling bags are so popular right now. You're definitely gonna wanna make one, maybe two or three, cause you're gonna need one for yourself too. So let's get started and make this adorable pouch together. Before we get started, what you want to do is make sure you have everything that you're going to need. So I have pre-cut all of my fabric for the interior and exterior of the bag. I've applied the shape flex to the back of the pieces as called for in the instructions. I've got my zippers, I've got the pieces um, for my buckle and the strap, and then everything is laid out and matched up as far as fronts and back. So interior and exterior of pockets, the front and back, the gusset, and all the things that you're gonna need. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna set a couple of these things aside that we don't need right away. And we're gonna start by sewing the inside pocket. So you're gonna take your two pocket pieces. Now these are the pieces that are eight by five, and you're gonna put them together, um, right sides together, and you're simply gonna sew a straight line across that top edge. Now you wanna make sure that you are using a consistent seam allowance. You want to also stitch um, with back stitch at the beginning and the end of each stitch. Um, so this is sewing the pocket together and then you simply turn it right side out and then we're gonna press that with an iron. You can iron it open if you would rather, but we're gonna sew this here so that there's a nice um, crisp edge along the top and then you want your seam to be right along the top of that pocket. Go ahead and we're gonna top stitch along this top edge. I'm gonna take your smaller zipper and these are the exterior pocket pieces here. So this one is eight by four and a half. You've got your front and back, and then your top is eight by one and three quarters, and your lining is the same. So we're gonna start by adding the zipper. Now you wanna just basically center your zipper. You want um, the zipper you know, to end here on the right hand or on the left hand side. Now you can pin or clip this if you want to, if that's easier for you, and it might be, especially if you're new to zippers, then go ahead and pin that in place along the edge, and then you're gonna sew, and then you're gonna add the lining on top of it. You're basically gonna sandwich that zipper together. Some things to note here, your fabric should be right side up, this is the front. This zipper should be facing down, so your zipper pull should be on the fabric. And then when you add the lining, you add the lining right side down. So your right sides of your fabric are together and your zipper is facing down. So let's go ahead and start by just basting this one in place. And then we'll add that lining piece. Now you want to add a, use a zipper foot. Um, if you have one for your sewing machine, they do come standard with most sewing machines. But I will tell you, if you're going to be sewing some zippers on, get a zipper foot if you don't already have one they make a huge difference, especially if you're sewing a zipper with a skinnier zipper tape. You wanna also make sure you backstitch always. Now I pulled the zipper pulled down out of the way and I'm still just lining up my zipper along the edge of the fabric. When you get close to the zipper pull, you wanna leave your um, needle down in the fabric and lift up that presser foot again and pull that zipper pull out of your way. Don't try to sew past it. The zipper pull will win every time, I promise you. They're bulky and they're big and they don't wanna move and what it'll do if you try to sew past it, it'll give you a really crooked line. So just move it out of the way as you're sewing. And even for right now, we could even open this up all the way down to the stop and just keep it out of our way. So now we're gonna add that lining piece right on top, just like I showed you, right sides together, and then same seam allowance here. And again, pin or clip if that's more comfortable for you. Just 
keep your top edges lined up nice, nicely. Okay, so now the zipper is in place. Now what we need to do is get the fabric out of the way of the zipper. What you wanna do is pull the fabric away from your zipper, both on the front and on the inside. And then just press that down neatly. Once that's all ironed in place, we're going to add the rest of the fabric onto our zipper. So the, we're going to do this the exact same way. You're going to take, now if you're using a directional fabric, make sure you are sewing to the right side here. Um, so we're going to take the fabric and again, line it up. Now this, at this point, your zipper should be facing up. Your fabric is right side down facing that zipper. We're going to sew along the zipper top here. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna add that lining piece. Now again, I want this zipper pull out of my way. So I'm just gonna open it up. Actually, no. I'm gonna open it up just a little bit and get this started along that edge. And this is probably easier to do pinned or clipped. So now I'm gonna move that zipper pull out of my way for the rest of the zipper. And finish stitching. Okay, so that's sewn in place. Now we're gonna add the lining. The same way, we're gonna sandwich it in. Match up your sides, match up that top edge. And go ahead and sew that in place. Right, we're gonna open this up a little and move that zipper pull again out of our way. And now we'll go back and iron these two sides up and out of the way of the zipper. I like to iron on both sides of the zipper just to be sure that there's no wrinkles or puckers or anything like that. And like, I just pulled these loose threads out of there. I'm gonna trim those just to make sure nothing gets caught up in that zipper at all. Okay. Now, wasn't that easier than what you thought it might be for adding a zipper if you're, especially if you're new to zippers? All right, now we're gonna trim this up. We want this piece to be eight by six. Now, depending on the size zipper you use, that will make a difference in what size your finished panel is. Now, you can use a scissors to trim your zip, rotary cutter, it will dull your blade. I'm using a duller blade anyway, so I'm gonna go right over that. Trim off the edge on both sides. You're gonna wanna move that zipper pull out of your way And I'm coming up right on those zipper stops. I don't really want them there because I don't want them to get in the way while we're sewing and I have a little bit of wiggle room here. So I'm gonna trim them right off. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> They're so close, but I don't want them to get in the way of the stitching either. So I guess that is one thing if I were to tell you to do something a little different is make sure that those are off the edge a little bit more when you are centering your zipper. Those shouldn't get in the way of my sewing, honestly, at this point, um, because they'll be so close to the edge. So I'm just gonna be aware that those are there because if your needle does hit those points, it definitely will break. So you wanna make sure. All right, now we want it to be six inches this way. 
So we're going to square this up. So we're just going to trim a little bit off the bottom here, keeping the zipper, you know, you want to have room on the top. You don't want to take too much off of the top panel if you had a lot of excess. Otherwise, you'd lose that there. Okay, so that is the zipper piece. Now we're going to take one of our 8x6 pieces and we are going to lay this on top. You want the right side of that facing up because when you open your pocket, then you will see that. And we're also going to take your back piece. So you've got a front and a back here. Mine are very similar in print. Um, so I'm gonna take the back piece and we're gonna lay it down. So the wrong sides are together. So here's your line, your middle. So wrong side, wrong side and then right side, right side. So this is the pocket you just made. And then these are the two, the back pieces. So these should be backs, the wrong sides together or the backs of the fabric. And then this is your pocket laying on top. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna baste all the way around the edge and you wanna stitch as close to the edge as you possibly can. Um, and it's gonna hold everything all in place. So I'm leaving my zipper foot on for this because it helps to have a nice narrow foot um, so that you keep that basting stitch right on that outside edge. You want to be as close to the edge as possible without going off the edge. And this is just intended to hold your pieces together while you assemble your bag. We're going to open up this zipper here. Now remember, the zipper if your zipper stops are in the way, don't try to sew over them. So I want to also use my hands to just keep that zipper together and I'm just going to go slow and just go over that area. There we go. We made it through without breaking a needle. And then stitch across that top edge. It's all sewn together and you can see now once that pocket is open how cute that is on the inside. And now the last step we're going to do is we're going to top stitch right along this top edge above the zipper. Now you don't want to top stitch the lower part. If this was something you wanted to top stitch you would have done that um, prior to adding the lining. Um, so we're going to just top stitch here and I like to use the edge of my fabric and the edge of my presser foot as a guide to keep things nice and straight. All right. Okay, we're gonna set that pocket aside as well. Okay, so what we have left is the bag front. And so we're gonna make the lining. This is your inside lining and we wanna add that pocket to the front. So we're just gonna stitch it in place. Um, I'm gonna use the stitching lines that I did before as a guide and I'm gonna stitch this down. And then we're gonna add it to the back of the bag front. You can put your zipper foot back on if you want to. Um, I'm just going to use the previous stitching lines as my guide to follow along there. So now we're going to go ahead and take that piece that is the front of your bag. Now, if you want to do 
any quilting or embellishing, embroidery, anything you want to do differently to the front panel, now is the time to do that. I'm going to leave mine as is. I love this floral print. So we're just going to put the wrong sides together once again. And we're going to repeat that basting process. But now we're going to go all the way around this panel. Okay, we've got the two pieces attached. This is now your front panel. So here's your front, this is your back, and then this is the gusset. So next, we're gonna prepare the buckle. We're gonna take a five inch piece of the um, strapping. We're gonna put this through the female end of the buckle and go ahead and just feed that through until it matches at the bottom. We're gonna stitch across that part. I like to backstitch just a couple of times. You want this to be really nice and secure. And then trim off any, trim off any of that excess that you've got there. Any threads, you want this to be nice and clean. Okay, you can set that part aside. Now, we're gonna put the rest of the buckle together. So after you add the slider, we're gonna add the strap, the rest of the um, strap to the other end. So you're gonna feed this through. And bring that down to the slider. You wanna prepare your buckle. So you should end up looking like this. So you have the male end on the end. The slider is here and this is where you can adjust it and then you have your end that's going to attach to your bag. We need to round the corners. And there is a template including, included in the pattern that shows you um, how to round off your corners. And I'm going to simply just use a erasing pen and I'm gonna make the rounded edge. And we're gonna go ahead and trim that corner. And then I'm gonna use the clipped edge as my template, but you can use the one in the pattern. You're not taking much off at all. So you wanna do this for all four corners on both of the front and back pieces. And don't worry, I'm using a heat erase pen, so if your line is at all visible, which it won't be once you're done stitching, um, you can use a iron to remove that. So now we wanna do the other panel. This is gonna be a little bit harder to see. It helps for if you're using black fabric. If you have a chalk pen, I can, I can see the lines enough to cut them. You probably can't see them clear enough on camera, but I'm just gonna draw my little template and cut those out to match. Next up, we're gonna attach the buckle. Now you can determine which side is your front and which is your back. For me, I want the zipper to be in the front of my bag and I want this side to be the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach the buckle to the back. Now you can do this either way 
you want. There's no right or wrong. In the directions, it calls for the zipper to be the, on the back, but I like to keep my phone in there, so I want that on the front. So you're going to measure down about an inch and a half on each side from the top. Just making sure those lines are straight and even. That's where you're going to add your buckle. So on one side you're going to put this end and on the other side you're going to put the other end. So you're just going to simply sew them in place. Just make sure that they're lined up and that they're nice and straight. So I'm matching it up with my line and I'm going to just sew right over that edge. And again, you might want to stitch this a couple of times just to make sure it's very secure. Now before we go any further, check to make sure nothing is weird or twisted, that you didn't sew this on upside down, that it all works, it goes together. And it is the right way. Mine looks good. You can go ahead and set that aside. Now we're going to prepare the gusset. These are the outsides of the top and this is your lining. You're going to take your zipper and you're going to center that again making sure your stops are out of your way. We're going to do this the same way. So we're going to take the zipper and we're going to place it on the top lining. And then go ahead and sandwich your lining on there. You're going to sew that together. So we're going to start with that one. And you're going to want to use your zipper foot. Now go ahead and match up the lining edges and the sides and stitch that in place. Now we're going to iron that again out of our way or finger press it to start. You can iron it all together when you're done. Either way works. And we're going to add the other piece. So now I want to sew it this way so that when I open it up, again, if it's directional, just make sure you check your direction before. Now the nice thing about using a zipper that's longer that we're going to cut off is the zipper pull has been out of my way the whole time. I didn't even have to think about it when we were stitching this part together. We will trim the zipper down when we're all done, so then you want to open it up before you do that. And now we're going to add that lining piece on. Now we're going to bring this to the ironing board and we're going to press those out of our way. You want to make sure that they're both away from your zipper coils.
it's looking really good. Now, top stitch just along both edges of the zipper, long both. And I like to use the edge of the fabric lined up with the edge of the foot for my top stitching here. Now it's time to trim things up again. Now before you trim your zipper, make sure you open it so that your zipper pull is on the side of the actual inside of your gusset. You don't want it to be on the outside. So trim that up so it's even with your fabric on both ends. And now we want this entire panel to be three by 12. So we're gonna do some trimming and evening things up. And I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna zip this closed but don't make sure you don't go right off that edge there. I'm kind of using the guidelines of my mat to make sure the zipper is centered here. So we want this to be three by 12. So we're gonna have to cut down just a little bit on each side. Now both sides are nice and even and then you want it to be 12 inches long. So just check, you should be, you should be close. All right, we are right, we are right on. Okay, I'm gonna open that just a little bit. I'm gonna show you a little trick. What I like to do when I'm working with zippers and I wanna keep the zipper open is I just bring the zipper tape to my machine and I just use my fingers to hold the coils shut and I just go back and forth over that end of the zipper a couple of times. That keeps it shut and acts as a little bit of a zipper stop so you don't end up opening your zipper and opening it right, or closing your zipper and you know pushing it right off the coils. Let's go ahead and get this gusset finished up. So you're gonna take the lining and put it right side up. Then you're going to take the piece that you just made that has the zipper in it, and you're also gonna place that right side up and you're gonna match up the edges on the right. Then take the exterior fabric, right side down, line up your edges here, and we're gonna sew this with a 3 eighths of an inch inseam. Now we're gonna take these two ends down, press them away from that zipper, we're gonna top stitch right along the top edge. So now to finish this up, we are going to fold our edges. So we're gonna line up the top edges. So we're lining everything up again on the right. We just flipped it over. So we've got the lining the back side of the zipper, the front side of the zipper, and the exterior. So go ahead and stitch using a 3 8 inch inseam once again. And now you can open this up. Trim any loose threads, and then you can do a basting stitch again to hold everything in place before you start sewing it all together. All right, once we're ready to attach this to our pouch, you're going to start with the front side. For me, I'm gonna use the piece with the zipper on the front. Open up that zipper, and also on your gusset, open up that zipper at least part way. Um, you don't want your zipper pulls to get in the way. So what you wanna do is mark the centers of both of your front and back pieces, 
and use either a chalk pen or some sort of marking pen to mark them in the middle. So you wanna mark the middle, top, bottom, and sides. Same thing with this other piece. Mark your centers. This just helps when you're matching everything up. And I'm just using the grid lines on my cutting mat as my guide. Okay, so now we're gonna mark the gusset as well. So you wanna mark in the center of that zipper Okay, so now we're gonna take the front. And we're gonna line up the center of the zipper, those markings, and this is where you definitely wanna use some sort of pin or clip. I'm going to go ahead and sew. We're using a half inch seam allowance. Go ahead and remove all the pins. Check to make sure everything is stitched where you want it. And you're gonna add your binding around the edges. Okay, everything is looking good. And you're also gonna wanna clip those corners. I have my binding all prepared and I'm just gonna start by attaching it in the center. I do my binding a little bit different than most. Um, I fold my edge over where I start and we're gonna just attach the binding. We're gonna attach one layer and we're gonna leave this a little bit open. So you leave that open and then you're gonna go ahead and stitch the binding on, leaving a couple of inches open at the beginning. Just kind of work your way around. Making sure you don't catch anything you don't want in the stitching. Mm 
Now as you get to the end, you want to trim off your binding. You want to leave about an inch to, of overlap. And then you're going to simply tuck that end inside and then sew it closed. Now we're going to fold the binding over around to the other side and we're going to clip it to hold everything in place. You can also attach your binding by hand if you want to. Um, I prefer to do it by the machine. Now when I am stitching my binding, I flip it over and I just stitch along the edge of the binding so you don't even see it and then that will pick up the back side on here. And then I remove the clips as I go along. You definitely don't want to try to sew over the clips. This is also known as stitch in the ditch. Go slowly around those corners. Okay, so you can see we caught the edge all the way around, trim any excess threads. Now we are going to go ahead and attach the other side the same way that we just attached this side. Now what I like to do to keep my strap out of the way, so you put the strap side down, and I like to just pull it up out of that zipper area just to kind of keep it out of the bag. Otherwise it gets really bulky and you want to match up your little markings again to make sure everything is centered and matches what you just did on the front side. And you just have to kind of move things out of your way as you sew, especially when you get around to the corners. At this point, things are getting kind of bulky, but just go slow and just move things out of the way as you go around. We're going to add binding the same way we just did on the other side and then we're going to be all done. You want to make sure you're not catching anything that you don't want to like your strap, you know, any of that. So you want to just make sure everything is pulled off to the left and you're not getting it caught up in your stitching.
Okay, make sure you attach the binding on the other side with clips. That really helps hold things in place so that you're only sewing that edge of your binding. The last step is going to be just to sew this on the same way we did the other side and then we're going to check out this adorable bag we just made. Now it's time to turn this right side out because you are finished. This is so cute and was such a fun project to make. So grab your pattern for the adventure sling bag and go ahead and make a bunch of these. Your college kid is going to love it. You're going to love it and all their friends are going to be asking you to make more. So have fun. Happy sewing. We'll see you again soon.